in terms of digital twins and using it, I mean, I've seen it yeah. used recently in a job in the, in the Gulf of Mexico, and this is around the commissioning phase of a job. So the mm. platform's built, it's about to go through that classic, we're talking a lot about, of course, on handover between the, the, the um, EPC contractor and into the client and the commissioning and a few challenges during commissioning and the digital twin there looking into when they've got problems with uh, actually bringing on the oil, looking at being able to close down certain systems, being able to look at the scenario of different bypass lines being used, separated, turned off, and be able to do all of that on an operational digital twin before you're actually doing it on the actual physical offshore. Mm. That, that and what was, what was, was the interface transformational. Sorry? Sorry, Andrew, what was the interface to that digital twin? The, the interface to the digital twin, I mean, that's just come out at the end of the, so it's reflecting all of the, all of the design information and, and, and everything. And then essentially it's being used as a tool for the commissioning team. They can look at it offline and look at the best way of in, intervention in terms of which valves and sequencing and parts they're gonna change to actually bring those separators on in, in the most efficient way. Of course, the old fashioned approach would be you, you, you try the different examples um, and, and try and get the best outcome. So that was a tremendous um, approach. That's the commissioning team using the tool in the in, in onshore base rather than having to work it all offshore. Defence industry, which is the UK carriers, the new carrier that's being that's being commissioned at the moment. Um, they the Navy originally said that what they need to do is to be able to model a change to let's say the launch catapult on the carrier in the digital twin in order to um, quickly and easily replace the parts when, when the carrier is in use, some other side of the world bombing some poor third world country. And they need to be able to go out there with the right bag of bits, know exactly what they got to do before they get there, do it and then come back really, really quickly without impacting the operational um, efficiency of the, of the asset. They, they built a digital twin right the way from the very start of the project. They didn't do it in any of the recognized tools that you and I know about, but nevertheless, they achieved success in that respect. And I think that's the sort of thing we do. 